Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn how to create a dashboard using Power BI. So very simple data set we have chosen so that everyone can relate with it. I am also having a blank Power BI desktop file open which is not having anything. So let's start creating the dashboard. So first step in creating the dashboard is to get that data inside this Power BI file. You can select Excel and that's our sales data when i click open it will show you the sheets which are mentioned in that file data sheet is one which we were talking about now if you are aware that your data is in a tabular format each column is having headers and there are no blank rows then you can click on load but for now i will click on transform now main thing here to observe is that whether your data is get categorized correctly in terms of data type like here we have date it should be a date calendar for text related fields it should be mentioned abc before the column header quantity price amount they are numeric fields you can always go and click on that prefix and you can change the data types if you are not satisfied with the automatic like here in quantity i would go for decimal data type now we will click on close and apply. Here you will see the data set on the fields. The fields are always sorted in an alphabetical manner. So it is easy to find them. So first and foremost, we would like to know how my sales are going on. So that's my amount. If you drag it on the screen, you will see the total sales. I want to see it maybe by country. So country by sales chart is ready. I want to show by region how much is my sale. I want to see it in our donut chart. Then I want to see my top so sales managers. Let's go for top three or five. So we have, we will copy this chart. You can copy any existing chart. Control C, Control V. That's a copy now. I can remove country and I can bring sales managers into. I want to change the orientation of this chart. So here from this selection of 30, 35 charts, you can easily convert into something else. So you can decide how many you want to show. One important thing we would like to do is I would like to enable data labels so that I can directly read the numbers on my charts. I would switch off the Y axis because numbers are directly there. So no need here also data labels and here X axis I can disable. One more chart I would like to see maybe my sales amount and it should be by date. Here you can see date is broken down into different components. I will go for yearly and monthly data you can always go for a line chart because that shows data in a clear manner and in the shapes i will say show me my markers data labels i want to keep on and y-axis i will switch off Okay, so these are the four charts which we want to keep. I would also like to know my total sales because currently that is not visible anywhere. So I can create a card visual. Card will just show numbers, nothing else. And I can bring my sales amount again. And you can see Total sales is 99.14 thousand. I will go for data labels and I will say that don't show me any decimals. Or maybe one decimal is enough. And I will keep this somewhere here. The benefit of donut is that the center is empty for use. So you can keep it in the center like this. So that looks nice. I will bring my products 
so five six categories of products i am showing and i want to keep region also somewhere i need to click on blank space then only i should create a slicer and i will bring my region into this so you can keep it somewhere at the top or on the left side because left side we are having enough space and you can use it to filter your data set easily okay i would also like to keep one more filter means slicer and this time i will like to use date because currently it is showing from january 2019 to july 2020 i want to keep that flexibility that whatever period i want to select data should show only that much okay you might have noticed that all our charts are based on sales amount but sometimes you may be interested in something else also like i want to know what is the total volume of fruits or quantities of fruits i am selling but if i bring it into the chart then it will look bad so there is a place known as tooltip if i bring my quantity into tooltip it doesn't change anything on the chart visually but the benefit is when i go there and hover i see my quantity as well amount but i want to know how many salesmen are there in that country so sales managers i will keep here tooltip is mainly meant for numeric things so if you bring a text field then it will say i will only show you first salesman in every country alphabetically first salesman so here i can go to this drop down and i will say you should count distinctly you can also double click and change the name that's it our dashboard is ready let us create a title for our dashboard so for title you need to go to insert here there is a text box you can you can change the font size maybe 24 and then make it bold and i want to keep it this color if you want to keep it in the center maybe you can pull down your these charts and you can put it like this and i want to keep it in the center maybe i want a background background should be of maybe gray color that looks good on white you can name the page like sales summary okay so that's the process how to create a simple dashboard or report now benefit of power bi is that when you click on india you will see changes are happening on all the charts which are the relevant items to india they will be highlighted in darker shade and all others will be lighter shades you can click on vegetables same thing will happen again on other charts so that's a really good way to analyze your data you don't need to create multiple reports one single report itself can guide you so many informations okay now let me show you some other cool features i will have i have amount and i have date so by default it summarizes my data by year so if i want to see a comparison then i would like to create a month slicer and i will say that only show me jan feb march april may and july now you can see there is an increase and now i would like to do the same thing and that's a clear indication of this 6.41 percent is because of which elements this increase happened or because of which element this decrease happened like usa was contributing negatively to this increase okay salesman's wise prince 
and Ahmed were the leaders in contributing to the positive change and these were also noticeable but there were many others which were not very high or very low so they are all combined into this and once you like any chart you can click on this plus icon and it will be added to your screen and you can further maybe you can always keep it there you can ask questions directly to this power bi file you just need to double click on your blank screen it will generate a window and now I can ask questions. Simple questions is like total amount. What was my total amount? And you can see 99.14 is my total amount. I might want to know that what was my total amount last month and it will change it to 2.31 thousand. Maybe then I will ignore this last month. I will say show me by country. And it will create a chart directly. I want to show country by year as well. It is creating a line chart, but I can specify the show me in a column chart. Okay. Or you can further go detail. Show me the total sales amount. I don't remember any salesman by sales sales manager so it will show me the chart by sales manager and once I am having a look at it then maybe I would like to know what was the Rajesh is not doing good I would like to know total amount by date for Rajesh and show me in a column chart. So you can see from July 2019 till roughly Feb or in fact April he has not done any sales. You can easily find that. Okay. So this is quite good in getting so many answers which are there in your mind and generally you do not prepare for them okay so that's your q and a so this was all about how to create dashboards in power bi now once this dashboard is ready you can publish it and it will be taken to your account from there you can share it to other people I will publish it power bi for everyone create dashboard that's the file name so when I go for my power bi account so that's my power bi account if I go to my workspace power bi for everyone create dashboard that's the file which we just published and all those charts are mentioned here same interactivity is there and you can share it with anyone in your organization or outside the organization you just need to mention their email address and it will be shared with them okay i will close this and that's it you can view it full screen also so full screen option is only available on power bi service not on the desktop file. Desktop is mainly for creating the data. So this is how we create a dashboard in Power BI. It's quite easy to start with. And thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.